Hey guys, this is Tony Solo from The Natural Lifestyles, and I'm here in New York City in some random park that I did filming once. And what I want to talk to you guys about today is what noticing women in totality allows you to do on their approach. When you're walking up to women, one of the biggest things that you're probably not doing is noticing the woman fully. Noticing her hair, the way it's done. Did she just get it cut? Is it all over the place? Is it very particular? Does it have a certain style to it that it tells you something about her? Is it shaved and what does that say? Down to what is her style like? When, when you're looking at a woman's style, a lot of things that you can tell from a woman's style is what kind of woman she is um, and what she believes in. So, if you see a woman with rock gear on, come on now, what does it mean? If you see a woman with uh, just very plain Jane looking clothing, what does that mean? If you see a woman and she has a little bit of both, what does that mean? Start to look at women in their totality. Look at, okay, how is her clothes draped over her? And how does those clothes say something about her personality? Because anything that people wear says a lot of things about them. Whether they take care of themselves, whether they don't take care of themselves, mainly men. Uh, women are very, very visual in the way that they present themselves to the world. So, in the way that they do that, they tell you so many different things without you even having to know who they are as a woman. So, when you're out there and you're looking at a woman in her totality, notice her style. The next thing that you want to notice is her posture. Does she stand up straight and uh, take on the world? Does she slouch? Is she very, very uh, erratic in her movements with her body? Is she slow and graceful? Is she sexy in the way she moves? All these things tell you more insight into the woman. And then the other thing that I want you to really take note of, and the most important thing that I want you to take note of, is a woman's internal state. And also you can couple that with her energy. Is the energy intense that she's given off? Is it calm and slow? Is it very, very uh, relaxed and um, mesmerizing? Is she giving off within her internal state one of anger, one of being annoyed, one of social discomfort? Is she giving off in her internal state that she's very happy and radiant? All these things that you're not noticing are all the, the jewels, so to speak, to what makes a woman uh, beautiful in her totality. When I'm walking up to women on the street, I'm noticing everything about her. So I see, yes, she's attractive, and yes, I want to speak to her, but I give myself just a few seconds to see what this woman is all about, really. And it always amazes me when I see students, or I see guys out there, when I am out there talking to girls, which is every single day, and they're running up to girls and just saying, you look pretty, or you look cute, you can say that to girls sometime if that's the truest expression of how you feel, but there are a lot of times they're saying it because it's a generic thing and they know that it probably hasn't happened to her. So a lot of girls are suckers for it, honestly, because it just hasn't happened. When I see them doing that, I'm like, all right, are they really noticing the woman? Because yes, she's pretty, but did they notice that she, her internal state said that she was in a bad mood? Did they notice that the way she walked, that she was walking with intensity and she was going where she was going and that she's a powerful girl? Did they notice any of these things? Many guys, when they're walking up to girls, they're just thinking that the girl is going to just be awed by them. What really awes a woman is a man that notices her fully, a man that can notice what's going on for her without her even having to say anything which is one of the, a woman's bliss. A woman's bliss is for her not to always have to say and for you to notice. So it requires the man tapping into the observer within himself. And I talked about this in my, one of my self-expression videos uh, on the masculine within, which I talk about the observer. If you haven't seen that, go check that out. But it requires you being the observer. It requires full presence. When you see that woman that you want, she's the only girl that matter. When you're walking up to her, put all your focus on her. Put all your energy into the fact that you're going to speak to her and you'll begin to get insight. So one of the most beautiful things that I have recently come into is that whatever you focus on, you'll begin to get insight from. So when I'm walking up to girls, I begin to focus on them. They become the center of my world in that moment. 
which is it ta this is ta this takes total presence. So. I'm totally present with the girl, and I'm noticing everything that's happening for her. I'm noticing her internal state, her, the way she dressed, the little things that matter, which I'll get to next. Uh, what, you know, what is her walk like? Is her feet in alignment, or do they go out to the side when she's in heels? There's all these things that I'm noticing, and this is giving me a lot more clarity on who she is before I even get to know who she is. So, that is one thing that I want you guys to understand when it comes to internal state and noticing the girl fully is that once you know her internal state and the energy that she's operating from, you can begin to step into that energy and mesh into that so you can immediately have a connection with the girl. Now, I told you I was gonna get back to the small things that matter and this is the bonus that I'm gonna give you. When you're there talking to a woman, notice the small things that matter. Notice her earrings. Notice the little rings that she have on her hand. Notice if she just got her nails done. Notice uh, the jewelry that's going on here. Notice the way that she uh, looks around. Notice if she is wanting to be appreciated, and you can see that. Notice all these things even before you go up. And then when you end up talking to her, say one of the most beautiful things that I noticed about you is just the way that you are so particular. I noticed that both your socks and your shoes are uh, to the same level. The way that you roll your pants up, they're both to the same. The way that you roll your sleeves up, they're all the same. And once I say this to a girl, this is why I'm saying this. And, well, I didn't say this, the socks and the shoes thing, but I did tell her that the way that she has everything rolled up, it just tells me that she's very particular. And she was just like, yes, I'm very particular. And I was like, well, that was just me just noticing more of you. And she was just like, you're very good at this. So to be able to develop the skill of the noticer, you have to be the observer. This is Tony Solo from The Natural Lifestyles, just giving you some insights into what it means to really notice a woman. When you go out there, notice everything about the woman before you go up to her and give her the compliment. There's no more just going up to women and just saying you look pretty or go up to her and saying you look adorable. These lines are getting old. You need to come from your own creativity and spontaneity from what you feel in the moment by focusing completely on the girl so you can get the insight into who she is. Until next time, go out there and begin to notice women fully. Notice them in their totality. Really see her. And then go up to her and tell her exactly what you see. You'll be very surprised by how many women are more open to you because you start to observe them in a way that men never do. So subscribe below and be looking forward to all my shit coming to you. Peace.